right, here's a little bit of a hack that you can use with Desmos. The idea being, uh, let's say you want essentially kind of like a, a, a problem that you want students to work on and then you want to be able to take snapshots and compare their solution methods and all that sort of stuff. So this is a, an example where you could use Jamboard, but then Jamboard students are able to see each other's work. Um, they're able to, you know, it's, it's a vibe. And Desmos, you want to use the Desmos vibe. You want to take advantage of the dashboard that's on, dash, uh, on Desmos and the snapshot feature and all this sort of stuff. So uh, this is an example of where a variety of tools was, would work. I'm going to show you how you can make Desmos work. It's a beautiful, beautiful little hack. All right, so let's say I've got, I just found a, a, a lame worksheet. Um, and the idea being, okay, so here is, <clears throat> here's the problems. And <clears throat> what I want to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of the problem that I want, and then I'm going to put it into um, a Google slide that I have formatted to be about the size of a piece of paper. It's eight and a half by 11. And if you don't know how to do that, you go to file page setup, change it to custom, and then you type in eight and a half by 11. <clears throat> so there's problem one. And then, oh, let's do problem two. So I'll go over here and I'll grab another problem. So this is not exactly a stellar assignment, but you get the idea. And I'm going to paste that into this one. And there we are. And so I don't know why I'm resizing. I don't really have to do any resizing on these pages. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these slides and I'm going to do file download as an image, as a ping. I'm going to send that to my desktop and I'm going to name this one 001 and then I'm going to name this one 002 as soon as I get there 002 and I'm doing that just so that they pop up at the top of my page uh, when I start needing it in Desmos so now I'm in Desmos I'm going to go to my custom activities and I'm going to go way up here to the upper right hand corner I'm going to create a new activity let's call this ratio tables practice all right and i'm gonna of course keep that link anyone with a link can view and here is the description of the activity i'm gonna click create new activity all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put in <clears throat> a sketch and then for the background i'm gonna drag in slide one and then i'm gonna make a new slide sketch and for the background I'm gonna slide, drag in image two for problem two. Now, what is all this gonna look like? Here it is. There it is. So now the students have plenty of room and they can write directly on this problem. Uh, because it's in Desmos, I now have the, the ability to take snapshots of a variety of different student methods so that student we can have a class discussion about comparing and contrasting student methods. And there it is. Now the big question might be, so why, why do it this way? Why don't we, um, uh, so, well actually, no, no, you get the idea. So I'm gonna delete these two slides. Let's delete and delete. All right, so why do it that way? Well, um, if you bring in your sketch and let's say you bring in your problem here and I can, I can, I could type in I can type the problem here, right? Now, the issue with this for me is that when we go to the preview mode, now look at this. Here's the problem on the left, but now the canvas is much smaller. And I don't know how to control the size of this other than um, putting it on its own page. So that's why I prefer the idea of, I'm gonna delete this slide and I'll go back and just to show you one last time, to bring in the sketch it's the only thing on this slide and the way we're gonna get the problem in is we're gonna click on that background we're gonna drag in the problem that I want to show up on that screen and then bring in the sketch open up the background and drag in that problem and now I have a huge canvas plenty of room for my students to write on and I've still got the problem, plus I have the benefit of all of the Desmos dashboards, pacing, pausing, looking at student work almost in real time, snapshot feature right now.
with this little hack, I can get it all.